the Gupa piece. <laughs> wow. What the hell is this for? It's just for making music. But it's a, it basically it's a very simple like synthesizer. But does it have to sound like Game Boy or is it could it also do other things? Oh no, you can put in samples. And do you want any no. other sound than Game Boy sounds ever? No, the, it does <laughs> some of the Game no. Boy sounds just because of, it's like a, a throwback thing, but you can program in your own sounds. In fact, you can do things like you can um, you can record in the radio. Plug it if you, it uses your earphones as an antenna. But you can tune in the radio. What? Yeah. yeah. We are those. So you can tune in the radio, and then. You can go to the um, the tape deck. Who made this? Aliens. Aliens made it. Actually, look, you can go in here. I get the feeling like I'm smothering. It's just it's like somebody's burying me in feathers. And so when things get too safe and too secure, then I have a tendency to start tearing things up or tearing things down. Back. That person, you can sample in the radio. And so I can lift that and I can go to a drum machine and I can just drop it in there. Drop some beats. the drum machine you can put the radio in there and play it back as a drum machine do people use this for live shows or more huh do people yeah. use this for live or more recording it's supposed stuff? to be a performance hmm. instrument rather than um it yeah. sure is good at performing yeah and what, what was this different visualizations you had like ones were like squares and oh so look at this is basically like Let's say um, I can use, you know how you make patterns out of things? So basically, honeycomb. yeah, honeycomb. So I can put notes and drop what them the? in. So those are notes that I just played and they drop into this thing. And I can start the thing turning around. And as they hit the edges, they'll play the notes. <laughs> And I can turn up the gravity so that they like bounce or float more. Isn't that crazy? Do you know Electroplankton? It's a little game on Nintendo DS. Kind of a similar playfulness. It's basically a way for like playing with music rather than... I, Because I play a lot of music over the years, but um, I started getting into like... Uh, instruments that you use on your like computer, but I just couldn't deal with this when you're playing with actual real people, because I mm. play with real people in a band, and so it's really difficult to perform when you're on a computer moving a mouse around and giving numbers knobs. So it just <laughs> makes it more performative, yeah. so cool. and it's really they cut down all the features. It's basically it's another type of synthesizer. Yeah. Awesome. I'm not sure why you're not getting a sound. Oh. Okay. Who made this? Teenage Engineering? Who are they? Yeah. They're Swedish, man. Yeah, but who are they? Of like, course. Who are they in detail? Um, Do you know them? No, I don't actually know them. They're just a Swedish company um, who... Are awesome. 
These are all the presets. One, two, three, four. Oh, I see. That's cool. I should turn that off. These are just different types of synthesizers. Some of them are sample based and you can muck around at the sample it's using. And some of them are just, like this one is like waves, four different sounds. And you always get to play with how the note is played and all that stuff, or what engine produces it, and you can put effects on it. And you can also have a, 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 an oscillator as well. And this, this, these are, there's eight different sort of engines for producing notes, and then they have also a drum machine that you can, like, like the, I showed you, you can basically put like pieces of the radio in there, or you can put like regular drum patterns. How much is it? It's like uh, $800, I think, or euros, it's the same price. Yeah. How long can you film with an iPhone? If you program in a pattern, and you can just let it like play itself, or you can do that thing too, where you just um, tell it to. Just I have to empty. I'm going to empty all the notes out of the box and put some other ones in. So, oops. So you get a random drum beat instead. Slow down the rotation of the thing. Sort of like make it more angular. Let some of the notes out. Trap the rest. And then you can play play with the gravity. So you can also sit at the bottom if there's a lot of gravity. Oops. And there's a woman talking on the BBC about North Korea, which makes another great drum machine. <laughs> Anyway, it's a good, it's a fun instrument to actually play with because it allows you to explore music in a way that you know electronic music in a way you didn't know how to before, and it's mostly serendipity. It's a great tool. Okay. And it feels like it's going to last a long time. The battery sort of lasts for about a couple of days. Is it something that you think can be used for live concerts, or is it hard to oh, no, people use recreate it. something? That well, I mean, you, you, you play, it's like a guitar, you know, you basically have to still perform, you know, rather than just hit the space bar and it plays a complex thing. You basically, you can kind of like cue it up so that the sounds, you can recall the sounds. Mm. Um, but basically, you still have to perform, it's an instrument, rather mm. than a, you know, like yeah. a piece of software for building stuff, you know. But you can use it in both ways. Thanks for the demo. Oh, you're welcome.